We're group number four, and our topic is high mass star evolution. Okay, so we start with a very high mass star that could be the mass of 25 times of our sun. We know what powers out the star is what happens at the core, hydrogen fusion. But eventually, over time, since the star is very hot, it ran out of high fuels for hydrogen fusions. So it, since we know that gravity is balanced with the thermal pressure, when it ran out of fuel, the temperature decreased and the core world shrinks. So that caused the whole star to increase to balance what happens to the core. So if you can measure the diameter of the star, that will increase dramatically. Also, if you can measure the temp temperature and the pressure of the core of the star, that will also increase. So at this point, because our high mass star has very a lot of mass, so then instead of fusing hydrogen, it can also fuse helium to carbon, and that generates enough heat to fuse carbon to oxygen, and so on. So it goes through this periodic table from hydrogen, helium, carbon, oxygen, and it goes on. That's how it creates different elements in our universe. But eventually, it reached a quantum mechanics limit. That's when the electron can no longer be pushed together any further. So at this point, then your proton and electron will fuse together to create neutron and neutrinos. That generates a massive amount of energy that blows the surface away and creates the supernova.